Hey guys, I am gonna wait a couple minutes, just like a minute, and I'm just pulling myself up here to make sure I show up. Fix my shirt. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna be talking about fears and objections, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my story. There I am. Okay, so um, I, I commented above this video to post what's holding you back and any objections you have uh, because after I'm done with the video I'm gonna come back tonight tomorrow and I'm going to address your objections and um, talk to you through the comments okay so if you are watching this recording then go ahead and make sure you comment what's holding you back what you're afraid of what are your fears and doubts of becoming a coach um, list those objections below, okay? And um, your coach and I will be able to answer you underneath my video and um, talk about those things with you, okay? So, I apologize. I think this is going to be a bit of a longer video than um, Brooks and the other girls, okay? So, Bear with me, if you don't have more than 10 minutes, then um, come back and listen at a time that you do, okay? Um, what time is it right now? 11.20, so my goal is absolutely no longer than um, 25 to 30 minutes. We'll do it, okay? Okay, so um, there are so many reasons why I um, wasn't the perfect candidate to be a coach. Um, I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about my background, what kind of person I was, and then how I got around to this whole coaching business, okay? Um, so let's just talk about high school. I was um, a super active person, um, not because I enjoyed exercising or anything, basically just because I always liked to do things. So I was in volleyball, I was in um, tennis. These were like off and on. I wasn't like four. I wasn't like a four-year athlete with all these sports or anything. Um, I was in basketball. I um, I was a very avid water skier. I did it every single summer. Um, I think all of these things really helped me um, stay small and stay in shape. I was in advanced fit. Um, I loved gym class just because it was so fun not sitting behind a desk, you know, and doing schoolwork. Um, I was a bit of a rebel. I drank monsters all the time, french fries. Um, I don't want to say on video, but I gave in to peer pressure a little bit in the alcohol area and um, smoking and stuff like that. I, I would say I was a very average girl. I wasn't like the rebel of the grade, and I wasn't like the star student either, okay? So I was very... Average in the middle, love to have fun. Um, I was never bored on the weekends, always out with my friends. Um, <clears throat> I was like a size extra small. Like I always felt good in my clothes. I always felt cute and beautiful. And then I went off to um, college, okay? And as you know, you're drinking a lot, you're sitting on your butt a lot. Um, a lot of people, unless you're like really good at sports, you're not you're not very active, you know, you have to get like a gym membership and you have to force yourself to go and stay active when you're in college. And so I started to um, gain some weight. Um, of course, like staying up until like three in the morning and then having ramen noodles and SpaghettiOs right before bed doesn't really help with the whole weight loss thing, you know. So I was um, gaining weight. I was not eating healthy because um, I didn't really have the healthy habits um, and grind in my brain, you know, I just, I always ate what I wanted. It was like cheesy bread, pizza, French fries, whatever, like what's a vegetable. I never, I never ate good food. Um, and so the pounds really started coming on. You know, I went, I bumped up like two or three sizes. Um, I was in a size of pants that I had never even imagined I would be in. Um, I'm a small person. I'm four foot ten, so when I did gain the weight, people noticed. Um, it wasn't like I was six feet tall and gained ten pounds, and you know, just didn't really notice it. I, people noticed. My face actually looked different. Um, clothes didn't fit, 
And that was the very first time where I started feeling self-conscious and not happy with myself. And I didn't enjoy shopping for clothes. I used to love shopping for clothes in high school because literally everything was cute. You know, I'd be standing in the closet in a, a store and it was like, well, everything fits me and everything looks cute, so how much money do I have to spend is how it used to be. And then in college, it was like, ugh, nothing fits, but I guess this will work, you know? You guys, you know how that feels. Um, so I gained, I gained weight, but, you know, I was a busy um, college student, and I didn't gain so much weight where I felt like I had to really do something with it. I just thought that was part of college life. Everybody gains weight at this age. Um, so didn't really do anything about it. Um, eventually, I got um, married and had two children and in between pregnancies I had the idea of who the hell cares I'm just gonna get pregnant again so why care about my health why try to lose weight anything like that so I just you know kept on gaining kept on getting bigger um, kept on practicing my unhealthy habits diet coke fanatic um, ate whatever I wanted whenever I wanted uh, so then finally when we had our last child um, Claire, she's a year old right now. Um, it was like two months after she was born, I decided, whoa, <laughs> I need to do something because I have been letting myself loose for like 10 years and this is getting out of hand now. Um, you know, I didn't want things to get out of hand where there was no going back because um, I knew once I got to a certain point, it was just going to be like mentally exhausting trying to... Um, get to where I wanted to be, you know? Um, so I wanted to like catch myself before I fell too far. And I reached out to um, a girl who honestly always annoyed me on Facebook. Um, she never messaged me, but she was like so positive that it bothered me. I was that kind of person where I was just like, okay, she's gotta be faking it. Like there's no way she eats the, like this every day. She must be sucking in in her after pictures. There's no way she's this happy. And honestly, like, her posts bothered me. But deep down inside, I knew she was a good person, and I, I wanted what she had. And I knew that she sold, sold Beachbody products. I just thought she sold workout programs. And so I was like, well, I, I think I'm going to get a workout program. You know, I don't have time to go to a gym. I was a stay-at-home mom. And um, everybody works during the day, so I'm going to have to, like, find a babysitter every day for when I want to go to the gym, and that's silly. So, um, and I hated going to the gym. I didn't like people staring at me while I exercised. Um, I, you know, you're in charge of your own fitness when you go to the gym. You are in charge of how far you push yourself. Um, you're in charge of deciding what days you lift and what days you run, you know. And um, I just wasn't experienced enough to know what my body needed. So I figured at-home fitness programs were the way to go and the cheapest way to go and just the easiest way to go. You know, I was all about the easy and convenient back then. Um, so I reached out to my coach and I said, I know that, um, and she wasn't my coach at the time. She was just some girl that I saw posting on Facebook. And I said, I know you sell beach body products. And if anybody's going to make commission off of my purchase, I'd like it to be you. Um, just because, you know, you seem like a, a fun girl. And um, if, if I'm going to buy it anyway, so you might as well make commission off my purchase. And so she was like, okay, cool. And she sent me the link to what I wanted. Um, talked to me into Shakeology. And um, I just decided, why the heck not? You know, I'm breastfeeding. It would be awesome to have... A convenient snack and um, nutrients and stuff to make sure I can um, keep up this breast milk supply uh, because it was always hard for me to keep up a steady supply so the extra nutrients and calories from Shakeology helped and so at that time I wasn't drinking it to lose weight I was drinking it um, as a like an extra snack because if you do know anything about breastfeeding you actually need to eat extra calories to produce milk so that was like my extra um, calories and it was like really healthy for me. So I, that, that's the way I justified Shakeology back then. Um, so I bought the program from her. Wasn't planning on um, 
working with her at all. <laughs> and I and I told her that. I was like, eh, I'm not really into groups. And, and she's like, well, why don't you just hop in my group and you can at least get recipes, you know, and just see what these groups are all about. So I was like, okay, I can deal with recipes <laughs> as long as I don't have to do anything and post selfies. Um, so I joined a group and I actually fell in love with the atmosphere. It was like, it was so fun. Everyone was positive. It didn't feel like a competition because that's what I was thinking it was going to be. You know, it's called a challenge group. So you think it's going to be like, oh God, these people are going to be in awesome shape and then there's going to be me and we're going to be competing against each other. And it's not that way at all. Um, those of you guys that are in our challenge groups right now, um, some of you haven't been in challenge groups before, but those of you who are in the challenge groups, you know how supportive and like fun the atmosphere is, right? It's a safe place to come and learn and um, share your experiences without being judged and ask for advice. So I really love that atmosphere and I knew I wanted to be on Shakeology for another month. So um, Brooke is Brooke is my, my coach and she asked if um, I wanted to know a little more about coaching. She just had this quick video that she wanted to send me that she made kind of like this one and I said sure. Um, and I was like, uh, I don't really know how I feel about it, but sure. <laughs> and so I watched the video and I was like, oh my God, she seems like she's having just so much fun doing this. And, um, like I didn't realize that there was a whole community of people doing this. I just thought it was like her being a crazy person, um, hosting challenge groups for fun. Like I didn't realize people actually do this and a lot of people do this for a living. Um, I didn't realize that. And so I, when I found out that a whole community came with it and that like I could join a team and become friends with a lot of healthy people and positive people, I was like, um, yeah, I'm going to do it. Sign me up. I don't know how well I'm going to work the business, but I want to be a part of this team. It seems amazing. And plus discount on Shakeology was the way that I justified my sign up because I was like, well, I, of course I want that cheaper. It'd be silly not to get it cheaper. Um, so I signed up, joined the group, um, kind of just worked on myself for a while. There was, there was probably like a two or three month period where I was not doing the coach duties and I wasn't um, doing anything except for being a challenger myself. Uh, which is fine, okay? Th that's called a discount customer. And um, I think tomorrow Brooke will talk more about the the three different paths that you can choose. But I was a discount customer for several months. And then I decided that um, I didn't want to go back and look for a job when my kids go to school and that I wanted to make this work. I wanted to work from home. Um, I started seeing all these super successful coaches doing that and there's more than just like five you guys. There are like thousands of coaches making a lot of money off of this um, and helping a lot of people and you know really fulfilling their own lives and I wanted to do that. Um, competition in my town was really tight for teaching jobs and it wasn't, it was starting to not become a passion of mine anymore. You know, there's a lot of drama in the schools and my whole family like works in the schools and I just had a little aha moment that I wasn't sure if I wanted to, to do that anymore, <laughs> which it was a big step for me to admit that guys. I went to school for four and a half years and it was like kind of a big deal to say, uh, I changed my mind. <laughs> um, I'm still not okay completely with that decision just because I do feel like wow I went I wasted a lot of time in school and it was expensive but um, I know I'm going to make up for it with this coaching down the road so um, that's why I decided to actually become a coach so I went from um, a challenger discount customer to a coach and now I am hey Brooke <laughs> now I am building my own team and mentoring my own coaches to do the same thing that I'm doing. So that is my little journey of um, how I got to where I am right now. So I'm building my own team now. I'm making money. I get a check every single week. Um, my Shakeology is completely paid for. Um, really anything that I buy is, is pretty much completely paid for right now. Um, 
that's how much commission I'm making and team bonuses I'm making each week. So that's pretty awesome. I don't feel guilty for buying Shakeology anymore. Um, I don't feel bad for using the family credit card, you know, because my checks are making up for it now. And so now I feel like this is really awesome. Like my business is going somewhere now. Um, so that's where I'm at and that's how I got there. I'm going to fix this so you guys aren't staring at me my body the whole time. <laughs> See my face instead. A little better. Okay. Um, so now I'm going to talk about the topic of what I'm supposed to talk about. And we are, what, like 10 minutes in? Okay, so I have my, my notes here, guys. And I know you guys have a lot of fears. We all did when we first started. Um, there's so many reasons um, to be afraid of starting something new, right? People are naturally nervous when they do something new or uncomfortable. And I'm just going to touch on, like, a handful of those things. I'm sure there are more reasons that you're doubting, um, but we, you're going to list them below, okay? You're going to list your objections below, and that way we can know where you're at in your thinking process. And I'm going to touch on a few of those objections right now. So the very first one is um, you don't have time and money, right? That's like the number one thing. Nobody likes to spend money, right? You want to keep your money. Um, and I'm going to ask you, how are you spending your money right now? How are you spending it? Are you spending it on your kids? Like, are you buying them $25 shoes that they're only going to fit in for four months? Are you, um, are you you know, going to fast food places and wasting your money on, like, I could easily go to Jimmy John's and spend $15 on a sub, a cookie, and a pop. That's $15 right there, one meal. What a waste of money, right? I could have so much more food and um, for, the, for the same price. It's so silly. Um, and then I just want to ask yourself, ask you, <laughs> what is so wrong with investing in your health? What are you afraid of? It's your health, guys. You should be wanting to take care of yourself. You're willing to take care of your children, your boyfriends, your husbands, your moms, your dads, your families, your friends. You're, you're there supporting your friends when they open up a business. So what is so wrong about wanting to invest in your own health, something that's going to make you healthier, something that's going to improve your life, give you more friends. Um, and then I, I also want to say that it's not, it's not this big expensive investment like you think it is. There are, um, I don't know if Brooke is going to talk about this tomorrow or what your coach has said to you already, but there's a different, there's a few different ways that you can get into coaching. If you have ever bought a challenge pack in the past, your $40 sign up fee is waived. Okay. You just still, you fill out a super simple document. Um, my coach just did it last month and you get reimbursed. Um, so your sign up fee is free if you have ever bought a challenge pack in the past anytime. Um, you do have to pay $15 a month to be a coach and to get the discount, the 25% off of everything. Um, that is 25% off of the performance line, Shakeology, any programs you buy, any apparel that you buy, the three-day refresh, anything. Anything is, even the sampler pack, um, anything is 25% off. And, and you make 25% commission off of anything you sell, which is not the only way that you make money. And I'm not going to go into this too much because this is Brooke's topic tomorrow. She's going to explain to you how to make money. Um, but $15 a month, guys, when I, like, I actually laugh out loud when people say, I just can't justify $15 a month. I'm just like, $15 a month to improve your health, guys, is not a lot. Do you know how much a gym membership is? They're a lot of money. And then you're locked in to, like, a contract with gyms, and that really sucks. Um, you can cancel any time. And when you think about how much money you are spending on wasteful things every day, $15 a month can easily be justified. Um, I promise you, okay? Um, so, yes. So, I guess just track your spending. See what you're spending your money on. See where you can cut back. 
see how you can um, justify that $15 a month. Maybe it's one less coffee stop a day. Um, I, I mean, if I go to the coffee shop twice a month, that's $15 right there. So um, that's how I would justify the $15. And then um, as far as time, you're just gonna you're gonna have to make time, right? And it de time depends on your goals. If you want to just um, soak up the discounts and be a challenger, well, just make time for your workouts. That's easy. You're already doing that probably. Um, if you want to be like a hobby coach and just you know maybe host a, a challenge group every month or two, or you just want to get a couple friends on board. Um, you just want to find a couple people that want to work out with you and, you know, make commission off of their, um, challenge pack or their, um, program that they buy, then you, you really just need like a half hour to an hour to a day. Um, it doesn't take a whole lot of time to help a couple people a month get healthier. Um, and then if you have big goals, like you want to, you want to make like a full-time income off of this and you want to um, build a huge team and be like one of the top coaches, then of course you're gonna need to put some more time into it. I'm gonna say like two to three hours spent um, very efficiently, okay? Uh, it Time depends on your goals, where you wanna go with this. And you discuss that with your coach and we guide you based on what you wanna do with this coaching opportunity, where you wanna go, okay? And another great activity for that is to see how much time you're spending. Okay, are you spending time, you know, do you go to YouTube and get lost on YouTube and watch like hours worth of videos? That's so easy to do, right? It, it links from one video to the next to the next. Are you spending lots of time um, watching Netflix? Are you taking forever to do tasks around the house that should really just take you 20 minutes? You know, are you... Are you a slow poke? <laughs> Are you wasting time doing things? Um, and basically just see like where you could tighten up your schedule to fit in a little extra time to work the business. Um, I know for me, I work the business, like I spread my, my couple hours out through the day into like 15 minute increments, right? Because I'm a stay at home mom. My kids are usually around me. Right now, my boy is at daycare and my baby is um, sleeping, so I have time to do this right now. Um, so I take advantage of nap time. I take advantage of <laughs> Ashlyn. I take advantage of um, bedtime, like when the kids are sleeping. When my husband gets home, um, he wants to play with the kids for like a half hour. So I go and I sit at my desk and I do some things that need to be done with my coaching business. Um, and I have just learned, and I never used to be this way, I have just learned to become more efficient with how I spend my time. Um, I'm sure I could still tighten up my schedule and um, get rid of a little slacking, but I've gotten better with how I spend my time. And um, so you could track your time, see how much time you're wasting, see like where you could fit in um, this coaching work that you want to do. Um, and I just want to quickly touch on something called power hour and this is basically like our daily to-do list Okay, I'm going to show you what I do every day. Remember I have really big goals guys So um, when you first sign up as a coach, you won't be doing this much um, This is my list of stuff to do every day. I read and listen to a half hour of personal development um, basically I get my personal development off of YouTube or um, audiobooks or podcasts because reading just I don't know, bores me so I don't do that. Um, I work out every day. I drink my Shakeology. Um, those are just the things that I need to stay mentally and physically healthy. Okay, And then um, I do six of these every day but your list is going to be shorter than mine when you first sign up and then as your goals get bigger then you add more to your list. So um, I would say it takes me about two hours um, of very efficiently working to get all of this stuff done, okay? So two hours out of my day broken up into little segments is what I do. Other coaches, they sit down every couple days and they put in like three hours, okay? So it, it just depends on what works for you. Maybe, maybe Wednesdays are like the day you wanna do coaching, okay? You can do that. You don't have to do this every single day. Um, 
it depends on what works with you and your team and your upline coach will help you figure out how to make this work for you. So basically you add friends. You find new friends on Facebook, um, Instagram, and you get to know them. You connect with them. So you comment on their pictures, you, you get to know each other, you have conversations, and basically connecting is making a new friend, right? You're just, you're, you're making a brand new friend that you would have never met if it weren't for coaching. Um, you invite them to what they're doing, whether that's through um, your posts, you invite them to make healthier choices, or you invite them to a free group that you wanna throw, or you invite them to a challenge group that you eventually decide to host, okay? Um, in the beginning, you'll probably be co-hosting with your upline coach until you are more comfortable with doing it on your own, okay? Um, you follow up with people. So that just means you answer your messages and you reply to comments on your posts. And then you present the business. So that means you are going to invite people to the sneak peek and you are going to um, explain to them what you do as a coach, okay? So those are the daily to-dos. Um, and then what else do I have here? You check into your challenge group, which you're gonna be a part of a challenge group most likely. Um, you post on social media three to five times per day, right? You just, you share your journey, what you're eating, what you're doing, what you're thinking, um, what you're learning, okay? You don't have to be an expert or anything. You just share your life. Um, and that's about it, okay? So that's, that's the to-do, that's the to-do list. And your goals depend on how much time you need to spend, okay? Um, another fear is... It's just another one of those fads, right? This is just a company that's going to come and go. Um, let me just stop you in your tracks right there. Health is not a style, okay? Health is a lifestyle. And why does my head keep getting chopped off here? My phone is falling. Sorry. I was on a roll there and I had to pause. <laughs> Sorry guys. See, you don't have to be perfect to be a coach. <laughs> you know you're not judging me. Okay, that's going to have to be good enough. Um, so health is never going to go out of style, right? Um, you can sell clothes, you can sell jewelry, you can sell oils. <laughs> Who's laughing at me? You can, you sell the, the nail stickers, the patches, the... Um, the crafts, whatever, okay, right? Um, things eventually go out of style. And what Beachbody has found is that, yes, they were, like years ago, they were selling um, programs through infomercials and um, products like Shakeology and other supplements, but those people we're having a hard time sticking with a healthy lifestyle because they were missing a coach, right? They didn't have somebody there to guide them and help them make healthy choices and help them figure things out. So what a coach is, is like the missing link. And that's what Beachbody has found out is, wow, if we give these people a free coach, see, that's what I am. When you buy a program, when you buy like a $60 program or a challenge pack, you get me for free, like for as long as you want to work with me. And um, I'm the missing link to um, your, your health issues. I'm going to help you figure out how to stay healthy, how to stick with this lifestyle. And that's why Beachbody is so successful now because they have found the missing link and it's support. Support is the missing link, right? Everyone knows healthy eating and exercise works. We don't have to sit there and make a pretty patch or convince people that healthy eating and exercise works. We don't have to try to make it in style and cool. Everybody knows for like forever that exercise works. Like that's what you need to do to be healthy. Um, you need to eat healthy. And it's hard to do, right, if you don't have support. So. That I guess that's what makes um, Beachbody so much different than other companies. That's why I believe in the company. That's why I know that this isn't a scam because they're not trying to sell like some sketchy product. 
They're trying to make a healthy lifestyle easier for people. And that is our job as coaches, is to share what we're doing, inspire others to make healthy choices, and to jump on board with us, and basically just make the world healthier. Like They want to see obesity go away, and they want the world to get healthier. Okay, so Beachbody is not a scam. Coaching is not a scam. Like We are not trying to talk people into ridiculous things that are going to go out of style. Right, Your health is always going to be a priority in your life, at least it should be, and that's what coaches do. Um, we support people and we help people. Um, and if you're really good at it, you get money doing it. So that is amazing. Um, what else did I have on here? I wanted to talk about a pyramid scheme just a little bit, and I drew a chart. Because <laughs> that's the teacher in me, a visual learner here. So just go ahead and look at that for a second. Um, I'm going to touch briefly on the um, ranks because obviously um, there are different ranks when you are a coach. So you start off as a coach, and I'm just reading up here. You start off as a coach, and then once you start signing people up to coach with you, you turn into an emerald, and then as you keep growing, you turn into a ruby, diamond, um, star diamond. So let me explain um, a, a pyramid scheme because sometimes we are called a pyramid scheme just like all the other online companies are called pyramid schemes and it's just not true guys because legally pyramid schemes are illegal. Um, I actually had to google this and look it up and research it a few months ago because I was like well it kind of does seem like a pyramid scheme like it, things are in the shape of a pyramid right that looks like a pyramid but a pyramid scheme was popular back in the 60s and basically it's one person who signs up as many people as they can and those people sign up as many people as they can and there is no product or service involved. It's just signing people up and the person at the top is always going to make the most money. Okay, There is no way that you can catch up to the person at the top and that's a pyramid scheme and it's illegal because it's literally a scam like you're just signing up. <laughs> and you're not getting anything. So pyramid schemes are illegal and they actually don't exist. And if they do exist, they're like they're like knocked out right away because they're illegal. So this is an MLM company. And the difference between that is, you see how like this person up here can be an emerald. So like a fairly inactive coach um, who is basically like a hobby coach. And they can sign, they can sign up a few people and let's just say one person they sign up is like, wow, this is awesome. I want to run with this. And they turn into, what do, I, what do I have there? A diamond coach, okay? So let's just say that emerald has a diamond coach making more money than they do. And let's just say further down the line, this amazing rock star coach pops up. And they are just building a team like crazy. And they're making tons of money. So do you see how... Like your own effort, um, like the money you make and the people you help reflects how much effort you put into your coaching business. So literally like a person at the bottom can be making more than a person at the top because it, it depends on how much work you're putting in and it depends on where your goals are, right? Um, so that is, I hopefully I convinced you that this is not a pyramid scheme and no other company is a pyramid scheme because it's illegal, okay? <laughs> um, it is in the shape of, the, of a pyramid because obviously someone has to, sign, has, has to sign up first, but then it just depends on um, the amount of effort the people below them put in, um, and, and that's how that works. And Brooke's going to talk more about that tomorrow because I feel like I could have explained it a whole lot better. Um, but yeah, so... The, the very last, this is getting super long, I'm so sorry guys, uh, the very last fear I want to talk about is you just can't picture yourself doing this, right? Like this all sounds fine and dandy, but I don't think I can do this. I just don't think I'm the person that can coach, right? You're, you're just afraid in general. And um, I'm just going to say like some fears that come with that objection is you don't have connections, right? Maybe... Maybe you live in a super tiny town or maybe your friends would just never do this with you. Um, 
maybe you're just really worried about what people think. Um, you're not active on Facebook. You know, when I first started, I, I remember like my friends were, my friend actually said this to me. When I changed my relationship status to married, my friend said, or to engaged, sorry, engaged. My friend said, actually, I'm more um, surprised that you changed your relationship status than I am at the fact that you're engaged. <laughs> like, I was never on Facebook. I came on like every two months. People would tag me in a picture or whatever, and I wouldn't see it for two months, and they'd be all offended. Um, and so people were kind of like, what is Lindsay doing? Like, She went from never being on Facebook, never knowing anything about um technology to all of a sudden she's posting three times a day like what the hell is she doing and so yes maybe they did think I was weird at first but who are they to judge and make me feel bad about myself when I'm doing something to improve myself right it's not like you're doing something um icky right you're you're inspiring others to be healthy and you're improving your own life and People are going to be proud of you for that, whether they tell you that or not. Um, don't feel bad about um, doing something good for yourself and being proud of that. Um, so don't, I mean, don't worry about what other people think because if they're like me, they're going to be watching you and they're going to be like, God, I really wish I had what they had. I wish I was as motivated as they are, whether they show the support or not, right? I was like super annoyed with my coach when she was so positive but I secretly wanted to be just like her. Um, so don't let what people think bother you. And then um, as far as social media and learning how to do all these things, our team is amazing and I have like 100% confidence in our team. My upline coach is so supportive. She's got a business academy going on for new coaches. It teaches them the basics, walks them, walks them through what to do, shows them how to do those things. And then plus, like, we're not just going to stick you in this business academy and be like, figure it out for yourself. No, we're here for you, like, until you want us to go away. And you're not going to want us to go away because we all become friends. Um, I, I signed up a coach a couple months ago. We co-hosted a couple groups together. Um, I had her watch me. I watched her. We're co-hosting right now, and really the only reason we are co-hosting together is because we wanted to do the same program. But I walked her through what to do, how to do it. I helped her with her confidence. I helped her figure out um, how to do all this stuff by herself. And next month, I just know she's going to like run with it and, and just be awesome because um, I supported her the whole way. And... There are so many trainings that come along with our team. We're part of an amazing upline. Um, I don't know if you have ever heard of Mindy Wender. She's one of the top coaches in the company. She has trainings like crazy. Um, just so much information that we can learn from her mistakes. And um, she, she basically tells us what works, what doesn't work. And then under her are some coaches also who are amazing, like... Um, Liz Drozzi and Brooke Podner and they share what worked for them what didn't work for them and and you're just guided the whole way like you're never alone guys um, this is not just a sign up and do your own thing type of thing we are a team and a very supportive one at that and I know there are some people in this group who have been coaches in the past and it didn't work out for them and they're thinking about giving it another shot and they're not sure if they want to and I just want to say that the team you're a part of is everything, okay? If you're not surrounded by people that want the same things as you and people that, you know, are positive and helpful and supportive and have the trainings available, then you're not going to be as excited about coaching. But if you join this team, <laughs> you're like, you're going to be amazed, okay? We seriously are all friends. We talk every single day. We actually hang out whenever we get a chance. Um, some people are local to us, so we get together. Like all the local coaches will get together when when we're able to. Otherwise, we talk online every single day, and we actually enjoy it. It's not work to us. We enjoy the people that we're with. Um, as far as the no connections thing, you build a network. You get to know new people, 
and um, we show you how to do that. We teach you how to start up conversations with strangers in in a non-awkward way, right? Because it's kind of like kindergarten all over again. You have to go make friends. <laughs> and you probably haven't made new friends in a long time. So we talk about that and we talk about how to share your journey in, a, in an authentic way, um, in, not sale, in a not salesy way, right? Because we don't want to just sell. That's not what our company is is um, based off of. It's based off of helping people and sharing um, our journey and our experiences and what works for us and what doesn't work for us. So um, I just I just have every confidence in the world about this team. I'm so glad I chose this team and not another one because it's the girls are like everybody. Everybody is so down to earth, helpful, um, so supportive. If you just if you just go and like stock our profiles, you'll see we all support each other. It's it's amazing. And um, we truly are like really good friends. And I just want to um, tell you that I'm so glad I got into coaching. It has changed my life. It has changed the way I feel, um, the way I think. I'm literally a better mom, a better wife, a better person, a better friend. I'm more positive. I'm like I was always the Debbie Downer that needed to vent to my friends every time we got together. And I'm just not that person anymore. I'm a I'm a different person now. I'm a better person. And I am I'm not ashamed to say that. And um I just I just want you to think about this one last thing is the worst case scenario, guys, if you sign up, is you get healthier and you make some new friends. And what is wrong with that, right? That's awesome. That's an awesome opportunity to just become a better person. And um, that's that's the worst case scenario, guys. The best case scenario is you, you take this opportunity and you run with it and you change lives and you make tons of money and you just become the best person you can be, right? Um, so, I, I mean, honestly, I don't see any negatives to this choice I made. I'm so thankful every day that I signed up, and I'm so sorry that this was a long video. I hope it um, eased your mind in the whole objection and fear area, because I know um, we are all having doubts about this decision we're about to make. And um, yes, so that is my video, and I hope I helped you guys. Please, seriously, um, comment your fears and objections, and tell us what's holding you back, because... Um, we would love to know where you're at in your thinking process. So comment below in this video and I will get back to you um, by the end of the day or whenever you do comment below. All right. Love you guys. Bye.